graffiti. It is a word all of us know, some of us frown upon, and others have taken on as a part of their lives. From the Berlin Wall to the streets of New York, graffiti is a universal form of self-expression. Here, in Kuala Lumpur, an old word has taken on a new meaning. Creativity. It's a form of art that not many people can master. It came during the days before the personal computer came out when people didn't know how to express themselves. So they didn't have Microsoft Paint to draw all their pictures and all that. Ah, the the student chunting dekat tu papan tanda. TLG is a major graffiti art movement in Kuala Lumpur. We spoke to two of TLG's members, Jeng and Snooze. Snooze is a student at the Malaysian Institute of Art, while Jeng is the street artist behind the now infamous graffiti of Yasmin Ahmad. I like her work and I watch Sepet like seven times. That's why I felt an urge to pay a personal tribute to her. The whole concept of the jam is to bring together graffiti artists from all around Malaysia to come down and paint together because there's a lot of faces of graffiti artists we have never met but we've seen their works all around KL. The, we had counted the artists and 58 names we, we, which we printed on the wall. So it shows that Malaysia graffiti is a force to be reckoned with. Even in the overseas media they wrote about this jam. It says the biggest jam in Malaysia so far. Graffiti is a worldwide phenomenon, all right? You find this in all urban, big urban cities. Um, and in some cities, like the one we went recently with my students, uh, they were intrigued by the range of graffiti. Some very political and some philosophical and some just sort of meaningless. So uh, we cannot just um, lump together all graffiti. We need to look at the uh, the people who are doing this. Some of the graffiti artists are obviously quite intelligent uh, besides skillful people. So I think we should look at graffiti uh, like a look at any text, right? Yeah, the different kind of text, different layering going on. When, when I do street photography, especially in KL, um, you really can't get away from, from graffiti as part of what KL looks like these days, especially now, more, more than before. You would, o you would always get a piece here and there throughout KL, but these days it's become much more prevalent because a lot of kids are picking it up and um, it's become a, a subculture in and of itself. I prefer it on the streets and I prefer it legal, but so far our attempt to apply for a, a space where a graffiti artists can spray paint safely and permanently, but the, the city council is just turning a blind eye towards our request. Yeah, I, I think graffiti artists should have more recognition and when people appreciate the art, people will pay for your art instead of just for the paint. <laughs> KL City Graffiti Whether a social-political form of expression or simply the act of leaving a personal mark in an increasingly impersonal world Graffiti is now a part of the culture of our city It is, quite simply, the visual voice of KL For two that time Polis datang daripada dia blok jalan kita orang dan that time kita orang nampak je siren kita orang terus lari lari tak ingat dunia lari sampai selagi boleh lari lari and then we chill at mamak store <laughs> wait for a while and then okay do again